COVID-19 slash influenza vaccine safety survey. Informed consent. What is the purpose of the study? The purpose of the study is to find out how often new health events occur after each dose of a COVID-19 and or influenza vaccine. Our goal is to have over 50,000 individuals complete this survey. Serious health events after COVID-19 vaccine appear to be rare, but in order to be certain of this, or to detect very rare or unusual events, we need to collect information from many people that have been vaccinated. What will be done? You will complete an online survey. It will take less than five minutes to complete. You are eligible to participate if you receive a booster dose of COVID-19 vaccine alone, third or more dose, or any COVID-19 dose given at the same time as the influenza vaccine or influenza vaccine alone. Due to the excellent response to our initial program collecting safety data following the primary series, first two doses, of COVID-19 vaccines, we are no longer accepting registrations for those getting their first two doses of COVID-19 vaccine alone. The survey asks questions about any new health events you or your child, if you are a parent completing the survey on behalf of your child, may have had after getting the COVID-19 and or influenza vaccine. Your response is important, even if you or your child do not have any new health events after getting the COVID-19 and or influenza vaccine, we want you to complete the survey. If you report a new health problem which made you or your child visit a healthcare provider, we may call you to find out more about the signs and symptoms of the new health problem. Certain health problems need to be reported to public health for follow-up, for example any severe allergic reaction to the vaccine, we will call you if we need to do this. If there is an increase in a health event during the COVID-19 slash influenza vaccine campaign, we may send you a link to an additional survey to gather information about this health event. Confidentiality Your responses will be kept completely confidential. The research staff will keep all information that is learned about you or your child confidential. To do this, a code number will be assigned to your or your child's study information. Your email address, phone number and first name will be kept on the REDCap secure server housed in Vancouver at BC Children's Hospital Research Institute. However, only our research team at Unity Health Toronto will have access to this information. If you have an event that is reportable to public health, we are required to report this information. To do this we will also have to collect your last name, address, personal health number and date of birth. If you do not have a reportable event then only local study staff will have access to your email address, phone number and first name. All data will be deleted from the REDCap database after study completion. We are asking to collect your email address because we will need this information to send you the online surveys. Although you may not be aware of this fact, emails sent to some webmail services, for example Gmail, Hotmail, etc., may be stored slash routed outside of Canada, for example, in the United States. Due to the fact that future emails will contain personal information about you or your child, including your, their, name, the Freedom of Information and Protection of Privacy Act requires that we obtain your consent before we continue. We will only send your, or your child's, personal information to the email address you have provided to us. All of the information which you provide to us will be kept completely confidential. Providing your email address means that you voluntarily agree and give your consent for the study team to email your or your child's personal information to you. Decision to withdraw at any time taking part in this research study is up to you. If you do not want to continue, you can leave this website at any time. How the findings will be used survey responses without contact information will be downloaded for analysis by the study team and by provincial public health. You or your child will not be identified by name in any reports or publications. The results of the study will be used for public health monitoring and for scholarly purposes. Weekly summary reports of the study results will be presented to public health and other health personnel. At the end of the study, a summary of the results will be presented at professional conferences and might be published in professional journals. Next page. COVID-19 slash influenza vaccine safety survey. English. Who can I contact if I have questions or concerns? Principal. Investigator, Dr. Matthew P. Muller, MD, PhD, FRCPC 30 Bond Street, 
Room 4 minus 179 Cardinal Carter Wing North, to Ontario, M5B1 W8 Phone, 416-864-5568 Study Team, Simon Khan by email at Ontario at CanvasCovid.ca Who can I contact for questions or concerns about my rights? Contact the Unity Health Toronto Research Ethics Board at 416-864-6060 X. 2557 during business hours, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., electronic consent, please select your choice below. Please note that submitting a completed questionnaire is considered as implied consent. Clicking on the Agree button below indicates that you have read the above information you voluntarily agree to participate. Please select option, Agree Decline, Agree Decline, Reset, Previous Page, Next Page. COVID-19 slash influenza vaccine safety survey, English. Parents, when we say you or your, we mean your child. Did you, your child, receive your, their, COVID-19 or influenza vaccine? Yes, no, yes, no, reset. Previous page, next page. COVID-19 slash influenza vaccine safety survey. Which dose of COVID-19 vaccine did you or your child receive? Dose 1, dose 2, dose 3, dose 4, dose 5, dose 6, dose 7, I don't remember. Dose 1, dose 2, dose 3, dose 4, dose 5, dose 6, dose 7, I don't remember. Reset. Please enter the date that you or your child received your, their, most recent COVID-19 vaccine. What was the date? To date and why? Please choose the name of the COVID-19 vaccine that you or your child received. Pfizer-BioNTech, Comirnaty, monovalent variant Pfizer-BioNTech, Comirnaty, bivalent variant BA.1 Pfizer-BioNTech, Comirnaty, bivalent variant BA.4 and BA.5 Pfizer-BioNTech, Comirnaty, bivalent variant unknown Moderna, Spikevax, monovalent variant Moderna, Spikevax, bivalent variant BA.1 Moderna, Spikevax, Bivalent variant BA.4 and BA.5 Moderna, Spikevax, Bivalent variant Unknown Janssen Chinvin, Novavax, Nuvaxavid, Medicago, Covafins, I don't know Pfizer BioNTech, Comirnaty, Monovalent variant Pfizer BioNTech, Comirnaty, Bivalent variant BA.1 Pfizer BioNTech, Comirnaty, Bivalent variant BA.4 and BA.5 Pfizer BioNTech, Comirnaty, Bivalent variant Unknown Moderna, Spikevax, monovalent variant Moderna, Spikevax, bivalent variant BA.1 Moderna, Spikevax, bivalent variant BA.4 and BA.5 Moderna, Spikevax, bivalent variant unknown Janssen, Chingden, Novavax, Nuvaxavid, Medicago, Covafins, I don't know. Reset. Do you know the lot number? Yes, no, yes, no, reset. Did you, your child, 
receive any other vaccine at the same time as your, their, COVID-19 and or influenza vaccine? Yes, no, yes, no, reset. Previous page, next page. CERN Unity Health Toronto COVID-19 slash influenza vaccine safety survey what sex were you, your child, assigned at birth, what best describes your, your child's, gender, public health Ontario Santé Publique Ontario male female and terse prefer to self to prefer not to man slash boy 0 o'clock 0 inches report woman slash girl KO less than 0011.0x. What best describes your, your child's, gender, you do you, your child, identify as, check all that apply, man slash boy woman slash girl non-binary, gender queer, agender or similar identity to spirit prefer to self-describe as, prefer not to answer indigenous, first nations, Métis, Enoch Inuit, other indigenous descent, black, African, Afro-Caribbean, African-Canadian descent, are.
COVID-19 slash influenza vaccine safety survey, English. Now we'd like to ask you a few questions about your, your child's COVID-19 slash influenza vaccine. Did you or your child experience any of the following after your, their COVID-19 slash influenza vaccine, redness, pain or swelling at the injection site redness, pain or swelling above the shoulder or below the elbow in the immunized arm redness, pain or swelling above the hip or below the knee in the immunized leg no, I did not have any redness, pain or swelling at the injection site redness, pain or swelling at the injection site redness, pain or swelling above the shoulder or below the elbow in the immunized arm redness, pain or swelling above the hip or below the knee in the immunized leg no, I did not have any redness, pain or swelling at the injection site reset. In the first week, seven days after your, their, COVID-19 slash influenza vaccine did you, your child, develop a new health problem or did an existing health problem get worse? Yes, no, yes, no, reset. Previous page, next page. COVID-19 slash influenza vaccine safety survey, English. COVID-19 test results. Have you, your child, ever tested positive for COVID-19? Yes, no, yes, no, reset. Please consider registering for the COVID-19 slash influenza vaccine safety survey again once you, your child, have registered for your, their, influenza vaccination. Previous page, next page. COVID-19 slash influenza vaccine safety survey, English. COVID-19 test results. Have you, your child, ever tested positive for COVID-19? Yes, no, yes, no, reset. Please consider registering for the COVID-19 slash influenza vaccine safety survey again once you, your child, have registered for your, their, influenza vaccination. Previous page, next page. COVID-19 slash influenza vaccine safety survey, English. COVID-19 test results. Have you, your child, ever tested positive for COVID-19? Yes, no, yes, no, reset. Please consider. COVID-19 slash influenza vaccine safety survey, English. Can we contact you for future research studies? Yes, I give my permission to be contacted for future studies, no. I do not give permission to be contacted for future studies, yes. I give my permission to be contacted for future studies. No, I do not give permission to be contacted for future studies. Reset. Thank you for helping us to monitor the safety of Canada's COVID-19 slash influenza vaccines. In the meantime, if you would like to track study updates, please visit https colon slash slash canvascovid.ca.